Hello YouTube, it is Zeph here, and I'm going to show you how to kill that thing. Yes, the Medusa Butterfly, one of the Divine Beasts in this game. Now, the Divine Beasts in this game are very difficult to beat. I wouldn't recommend trying to kill them until you're at least level 60, uh, 50 if you're brave and have enough time to kill uh, it by whacking on it com repetitively with a stick. Now, uh, this... Divine Beast doesn't have any resistances or weaknesses, so it's fairly straightforward. You don't really need to have anything equipped that has a resistance or a attribute. So, Mithril Sword doesn't have any attributes. If I can... Oh, it has Wind. That doesn't really matter. And we have this one, which is the... Rarusuto. Rarusoto. I have no clue with it. I think that's Rarusoto. I can't tell. Anyways, um... So... Since this battle, the enemy won't use any attributed attacks, you're able to equip your enemy, your, not enemies, teammates with basically anything you want, as long as you, well, good equipment, generally, if you want to live longer. And, but, still, even at this level, uh, trying to kill an enemy will, of this rank, will get you killed a lot, so I recommend using a, oh, oh wow, where's my aldivides? Where'd be my aldivides at? Come on, all divide, all divide, all divide. Okay, so these all divide, um, as I, you probably know, they divide all damage done during the battle by 50%. So, use that and reduce the damage done. And I'm gonna attack him from behind, even though it does nothing. Okay, so that's Medusa Butterfly, 70k health, 70k well health, yeah. And I am not going to read those characters because it's a Medusa Butterfly or a Chimera Butterfly. I shouldn't have to try and figure that out. So I'm playing as Mila. She has a lot of... Now the reason I'm doing this, like normally I would play as Jude or something, but the reason I'm doing this is, oh my gosh, I haven't used my... Oh, let's see if I, how far I can go without using my Aldivide. Oh wait, I've already used it, haven't I? I feel like I have. If I haven't, let's find out. Nope. Jude took a little bit of damage. You can remind me whether or not I've taken... I've used my all divide. I think I have, because it isn't taking that much damage, even when guarding. Yeah, I'm going to say I haven't used my all divide. But since... Okay, whether I've used the all divide or not, that's not important. It's important is the fact that I need to, well, basically kill it in a slightly manageable amount of time. So to do this, I am going to use... Oh my gosh, you... Yeah, I haven't used the Aldivide yet. That's why I'm dying so much. Aldivide. Okay, if I could get up, I'll use the Aldivide now. There we go. Now I'm taking much less damage, and I'm not going to die repeatedly. Oh, nope, I'm still taking quite a large amount of damage. Okay, I must have used the Aldivide before. I'm crazy. I'm sorry about that. I'm so kind of scared of brain right now. I'm hungry and I want my food. Okay, so since this enemy takes very little damage and does so much of it, generally what you want to do is to use an attack that will inflict a status ailment, especially burn. So I have Thunderblade set as my, come on, as my kind of status-inducing art, because it will ca inflict a burn status, which will do about a thousand damage every hit. Um, every few, s every couple of seconds. Well, not even that. Every half second. Thus, making it much easier to kill baddies like this that will otherwise be virtually impossible to kill in a respectable amount of time. So, right now, as you can see, I'm still taking quite a large amount of damage. Um, not enough that it's completely unmitigable, unmitigatable, but it's still going to be a bit of a pain. So. I'm still trying to use my, if I if it will let me, my link art so that I'm able to do a little bit more damage, but I'm still only doing like 500, 600 per hit. So, I'm trying to comp repetitively do this, so I'm able to go up to my mystic art. Okay. So, Inflicting status ailments is the only way to quickly end this. So if I just back up a bit, okay, still taking damage. So generally, I at this time usually I'd have someone else set, but this guy is intent on killing me. So if I was, those guys will juggle him for a little bit longer. 
I'll just basically spam this art until I get burn status. Okay, I've got burn status. It's doing 10... It's doing 10,000... Not 10,000. Uh, 1,050 damage. It doesn't last for very long. It's not like poison. Poison will continue to do damage over a long period of time. This will just... Um, do a large amount of damage in a short amount of time and increase the damage that the enemy takes. As far as I know, um, I'm pretty sure it increases the amount of damage that the enemy takes, but I'm not certain about that. Okay, Link Art, do mediocre amounts of damage. Now, even Mystic Arts, you'll see, since I have the All Divide on, won't do that much damage, but the All Divide is there to make sure I don't repetitively die, which is usually a problem. Now, I don't know what I have Elise set to, but she doesn't look like she's... Oh, yeah, she's healing in the back. Okay, so... Where's Hellpire? I've gotten a few new little link arts that I'm going to try and use. He requires his Hellpire. Where is it? That's not Hellpire. Ah, here we go. Uh, okay, so... Sorry, I'm going silent on you. There is a Hellfire-like art, and it requires this light-based attack. Oh, it's not that light-based attack. I don't... How many light-based attacks do I have? I only have the one, as far as I know. That? That can't be it. Oh, wow, I do have two light bases. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's a freaking laser right there. Yeah. That's a laser attack. And there we go, it's dead. I got to show off a laser and get a large amount of experience at the same time. So I've got an effing laser, and you guys just got to see how to kill a boss like that fairly simply. I'm sorry that I'm not super hacks elite at this game, but I'm still learning and killing stuff. Now, that's probably one of the easiest ways to, well, kill bosses like that, just because of the amount of damage that they do. So I'd recommend that technique for any really strong boss in this game. Um... That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. This has been Zephyr, trying to help you guys out. Thank you very much for watching.